Republicans are being very clear about what their priorities are. To make America great again. That there was a time when we were great and we need to go back to that. Before women's rights. Before civil rights. Back before gay rights. Maybe even back before the New Deal with workers' rights. Back to a time where a certain group of people were in charge of democracy and it worked for them. White nationalism is not new. Anti-Semitism is not new. America first is not new. There were Americans who didn't want to get involved in World War II. There were Americans who wanted to fight on the side of the Nazis. There were Americans who were very unhappy that women got the vote and access to birth control in their own credit cards. Americans who were very against civil rights, who were devastated by school desegregation. In fact, it was school desegregation that was the catalyst for the partnership between evangelicals and the far right with the creation of the pro-life movement. Right-wingers didn't care about abortion. They cared that they could get a plurality of votes from Christians on the issue of abortion. It wasn't about life. It was about control. It's always been about control. The faith of the true believers is irrelevant. The fear that these people stoke, the people they marginalize, the fingers they point, they're not based on real true problems. They're a means to an end, a calculated decision to regain power that is paying off. The Republican government has gone all in in supporting the crumbling white Christian power structure with men and money at the top. Democracy was allowed to continue, provided it continued to support them. But when it ceased to do that, as it did with the election of a black president, and the majority of the population's continued acceptance and expansion of multicultural pluralism, then democracy itself ceased to be useful. The Republican Party is no longer about small government and low taxes. It's about rich, patriarchal, top-down control about a media that tells their truth, not the truth, about politicians who will tow the party line. There is no room for deviation or free thought in the Republican-controlled America. They are making it abundantly clear that they're not even willing to accept the election results that they didn't win, and they are actively rigging the system so they can't lose. They don't even have full power yet, and they're already stripping people of their rights, having neighbors spy on neighbor, protecting law enforcement as they kill people in custody, pardoning their friends, demonizing the other, and unapologetically calling for one religion while scapegoating the rest. If you believe in democracy, in the rule of law, in human rights and religious freedoms, if you don't want to live in an oligarchy where the rich live under a different set of rules and we have no social safety net or honest government representation, then you are no longer a Republican. And you can't vote for them because they no longer represent your values or the future you believe in. Forget the letter beside the name. You didn't leave this party. The party left you. And you need to tell them so at the ballot box.